Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana channel. My name is Shanks and today we are going to play Rohan against Isengard in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 2.22 beta, which is improving the Heart Army quite a lot. It's a beta test, we are still working on it, we want to make it more challenging but we don't want to make it impossible. And today you will get the chance to see the eventual upcoming changes for the upcoming version of the patch 2.22. So we are on the beautiful map Fangon Forest, let's recruit one more peasant. And we can only defend ourselves. Trust me on that one. We cannot counter push. And you know me. I've been doing 1v7 videos all the time. I was able to win multiple times against 7 hard armies. But that was not on the patch 2.22. So this one is going to be completely different. And a full different gaming experience. So if you are into challenges. You should be a bit more patient. Because the upcoming version of the patch 2.22. Is going to be released very very soon. Let's grab all the settlements. Early on, we need to kind of build up our army and be prepared for the big AI push. They will be pressuring us all the time. We will need to get Eoma, Teorin, Rohirrim, Rohirrim Arches with upgrades. So we need some time to stall the game out a little bit. Otherwise, we will be in a really bad spot. So let's try to stall and try to check out what the AI is doing. We will now have in total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 farms outside. That's pretty nice. We will get a lot of additional money and resources. Okay. I think we need to build a stable very soon. But I want to build eventually some more farms. I don't know. Look at that. He has crossbowmen already. He was creeping the troll already, guys. That's crazy. That's crazy. Our peasants, they don't stand a chance. Okay. Oh man, oh man, oh man. The farm is going to be also taken down slowly but surely. He has even upgrades. Do you see that? I mean, AI does get discounts now on everything they do. And uh, they get the armory very early. They have a lot of money. And they have also the discount to be able to upgrade those Uruks. All right, look at this. Did you ever see this before? Uruks with upgrades in the first few minutes into the game. I was cash floating a bit. I want to try to beat them into the troll there. Maybe troll can Oh, he has even fire arrows on the crossbow, man. <laughs> Guys, I mean, again, when it's going to be too difficult, when it's going to be nearly impossible, it won't be this way implemented into the new version. We are still beta testing that, me and a couple of other guys. We want to make it definitely more challenging, but we are not trying to make it more, you know, more or less like impossible. That's not what we are aiming for. Okay, troll is on our side. It's good. Looks like the troll doesn't like Uruks either. He will be able to clean those uh, crossbowmen no problemo. We gotta recruit some more peasants to protect the settlements as long as we potentially can. Again, we will definitely need Elma. We will definitely... Hold on a second. Let's bring them to the troll. Hey, follow. Don't touch my... Um, I can't even talk. Too much stress. Don't touch my Mary. Let's grab the settlement. And also, there is money on the ground. I cannot resist. Let's pick up the money. And now we have enough money for Elma. Elma is going to be our first choice because we will need his outlaw leadership to make money for killing this many units. And this AI will spam a lot of units. If we get the chance to get some units on the field, upgrade them with heavy armor and get leadership from Elma and Theorin, we should not be able to run out of money anytime soon. Look at that. He's creeping. And Fangon Forest is a good map for us because it has many, many creeps, which is kind of holding the AI back a little bit, you know? He has pikemen already in the porcupine formation. That's also something the AI was never doing before. He was never recruiting pikemen, the Isengard AI. And if he ever recruited... Look at this army. Do you see that, boys? Holy guacamole. Oh, that's gonna be... Oh, oh. Okay, the stable is coming up. We gotta build a well for the sustain. And we have now the two Rohan heroes, Elma and Theorin. But they are both level 1. So, let's see. He has freezing rain already, by the way, because he's creeping a lot and they are getting more power points from killing stuff. Because it's the unfair thing when you play against AI, you get the chance to kill so much and you have like a huge power point advantage and I don't need to tell you how impact impactful the power points are in Battle for Middle Earth 1. Now, with this, the AI is able to keep up a little bit, you know? Okay, we have killed the troll, that's good. And Elma is almost level 3, that's the required level. We have now the outlaw leadership, which means money, money, money. And he has pikemen with forge blades. Dude. I mean, we need upgrades as soon as possible. Let's build a postern gate. So we don't need to open the gate. And we have also now healed from the spellbook for the worst case scenario. But we can still not fight against that. We need to definitely get a tower to be able to, you know, crush this pikemen. 
because our horses cannot fight against them. I mean, we have lost every farm but the two farms outside. That means Isengard AI has literally full map control. And the thing is, uh, they will also buy the outposts and eventually go for the siege weapons very, very soon. That means we have not much time left anymore. We gotta be prepared as soon as possible. Look at that. Pikeman. The spam is crazy. But the good thing is, when you play good factions like Gondor and Rohan, you have obviously walls protecting you. And those walls are gonna be able to keep the opponent away from your castle until Ballista or Rams are gonna be recruited. And we can use the time to get a bit more experience. We are almost level 4 with Elma, almost level 4 with Theorin. It's gonna be nice because of the glorious charge. We have now double leadership. Elma plus Theorin, you know, that's pretty nice. But we have no money. I mean, we have only one Rohirrim. What can the one Rohirrim do against such a reckless seat? And he has heavy armor on the Uruks too now. It means even our trample doesn't won't kill them with one single trample. We gotta kill the weak units first. And boom, we have Glorious Charge. Now that's dope. Let's use it for death and glory. Now we gotta right, 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 right. Get money. You see our money at the bottom left side of your screen. It's rising to the sky as we are trampling down these units. We get so much additional stuff. Uh, let's use heal. Oh my goodness. Okay. Nah, okay. Uh, the good thing is we didn't lose a single horse. The bad thing is we have not killed a lot because we have no upgrades yet. And I don't need to tell you, but upgrades are so important in Battle for Middle of One. We have now 5 power points in the bank. Uh, we might go for the Elven Allies Summon or the Elven Wood. Um, hmm, let's go for, a, for the Elven Wood actually because when I trample, I want to use the Elven Wood. And with Elven Summon, I can also try to kill the Pikemen. You know, that's what I'm aiming for. I want to use the Elven Summon, Elven Wood to aim the Pikemen down. And once the Pikemen are dead, my horses or Rohirrim can handle the rest. No problemo. Level 6 King Theorin. But Glorious Charge is on cooldown, but we get money, dude. We get actually a lot of money. That's why Outlaw Leadership, guys, is so important. It's really important. Almost level 7. We can use King's Fever, level them up. Um, we need still like 4.5 power points for the... For the um, oh, here's Rams already for the Cloud Break. Or 3.5 power points for the N7. We gotta kill the Ram as soon as possible. Boom, the Ram has been taken down. We have still no upgrades, but it's gonna be changed very soon. Um, I wanna get the Horseman Shield, and we wanna, we wanna demolish the stable after that one, because we cannot afford to, leave, to delete a farm, right? We have no eco. So now we have the shields, and we, we need to build the armory to get Forge Blades and Heavy Armor. That's very important. One more ram is coming. Oh, use the sword, please. Hey, the ram is hitting like a truck, by the way. Look at this damage from the ram. Like, literally four shots, and the, the gate is gonna be gone. We have Glorious Charge, let's use it. Let's kill the ram and write them down. Hunt them down. The money is gonna go brrr now. Watch this. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my god, we are growing rage. Look at this. Glorious Charge. They cannot, no force can slow this charge. And one more trample just like that. Dude, we are doing good. We are doing good, but you can see, right? There is permanent pressure. And we cannot get the chance to push him back. We have now the Cloud Parade that's going to be good to reduce their armor and stun them. They, you know, especially the Pikemen, because then our horses can just focus down the Crossbowmen and Uruks. So we should be in a good spot. But he has upgrades, he has Uruks. And remember, this is no rubble of mindless orcs. These are Urukai. Their armor is thick and their shields broad. Okay, so we handle the situation no problemo. But what's... Oh, he has Pikemen in Porcupine formation. Do you see that? That's scary. We gotta, we gotta play around them. Uh, our towers need to take care of these. Hey, don't write into them. Okay. So, we are still broke. We have no money. But we are getting we are, we are getting there. We are getting stronger and stronger. That's very important. Um, reclaiming map control would be a great choice. But he has everywhere pikemen. I mean, he knows how to counter our Rohirrim. And he is using the right battle formation too. Which makes them immune to damage when we trample and we take so much revenge damage from it. Okay. I mean, at this point, we gotta, we gotta fish for the power points, guys. We need to just collect as many power points as we potentially can to get to the EOD summon as, poten as soon as potentially possible. I mean, he has no siege weapons yet around this side, but he has such a big force. We have Glorious Charge. There is one ram coming. We gotta, we gotta use the Glorious Charge, boys. We gotta go inside the jeans for death and glory. Right now, for the world's ending. 
Dev. Okay, trample. Um, we are taking so much damage. We have no heavy armor yet, but it's gonna be changed very soon. One more trample. The crossbow man. They, they should be getting one shot. There we go. Level 10 King Theodine. And we have almost the power points. Don't trample the pikeman. Okay, we have almost the power points we need for the EOZ. That's pretty good. We have also heavy armor almost purchased. Armor is more important than DPS because we gotta make sure to keep our horses alive because we demolish the stable to build the armory. So keeping the horses alive is the main priority. Okay, so the glorious shot. Do you see this army, guys? That's what I'm told. Please, please, Elma, don't I? I can't. I have no money, Elma. I cannot revive you. I'm telling you. Oh man, maybe we gotta open the gate, boys. Open the gate. Open the gate. There is no orcorn. <laughs> All right, come in, come in, Ram. I invite you. You don't need to destroy my gate. You can just ask me. You can just knock the door. Okay. Okay, we gotta fight this, boys. One more Ram is coming. Oh, we have EOD. I think I, I think we gotta we gotta use it, boys. We gotta use it. We have no other choice. We will lose everything if we don't use it. The pikemen are coming in the porcupine formation. The good thing is we have now a little bit more money. And we need to we need to try to take care of this ballista and of the siege works with the ants as soon as possible. We gotta kill it before he actually spawns more and more and more and What? It's a demon from the ancient war, I guess. Dude. Okay, we gotta demolish the I don't know, man, if he can still do it, guys. It would, look at this, dude. That's crazy pressure. He just breath fired our gate. Broke the gate. We gotta build some towers just for the, for the worst case scenario. Oh my goodness. The infinite army spam from the heart AI. We destroyed the siege works. Don't die, heroes. The is kind of low. We have no heal from the spellbook. Look at that. He's killing our citadel. Holy moly. What is actually happening? Look, I'm using the ignite. And do something about Fangon Forest. Do something for your home. I mean, we have no money and we need to invest so much of that to repair the stuff we have lost. Okay, the, the, oh my, what? He's coming in the porcupine formation. I can't, the thing is you can't even target the pikemen with your towers when your city is down. That's not possible. I'm gonna just write them down. What can I do? I hope that they won't get one-shotted because we have glorious charge. We gotta get to the side as soon as possible. We need to use the duration of the glorious charge as wisely as we can. But it's gone now on cooldown. We gotta we gotta use heal here eventually. Uh, mines are coming to. The pressure is real. The ends are going. You see the lumber mill workers are coming now also. Do you see that? Because AI now realizing okay, this guy has ends and he's gonna use the lumber mill workers to target and kill our ends. We have Cloud Break, um, which we might need to use. Let's kill the mines. They give us actually a lot of money from the outlaw. And there comes the freezing rain. And all our leadership bonuses are negated. And we gotta we gotta uh, repair the gate as soon as possible, boys. I mean our horses are level 10. That's pretty good. But we are kinda broke. So let's stun them with the cloud break. Uh, trample them down in the meantime. Remember, the stun effects are only working until they are level 3. So if they get level 3, they have automatically fear resistance. Yes, even the field of fires, he's growing rich. And we, I mean, if we can't make something happen until the next Balrog summon, we automatically lose the game. We need to at least capture some outpost, which is easier said than done. We need archer range, we need to get a uh, fire purchase to be able to get the Rokirim archers later on, you know, with fire upgrades. That's very important. Um, the pressure is real, dude. I, I don't know. I mean,. We have no time of recovery, guys. Do you see that? We have literally no time of recovery for death and glory once again kill lords. I mean, we need to just hope that we will get enough money from the outlaw leadership, from Elma. That's the only thing we can do. Trample, 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 trample. We gotta repair the gate, though. Lords is still alive. We gotta kill him as well. Kill is on cooldown. The ballista is coming. Ballista is the main target. We gotta kill it first and go back to the fortress. And please let me know, do you see the mines? Please let me know in the comment section down below, guys. What do you think about the new improvements to the Heart Army? Uh, you know, it's not a final decision yet. It's not, nothing is set in stone. It's a beta project we are working on now for a while. And I just wanted to show you guys the new difficulty level <laughs> of the Battle for Middle Earth 1 AI. Because I know many of you guys are playing that in, in single player, in skirmishes. And maybe you are looking for something next level. You know, like really challenge, ultimate challenge to beat the hard AI. Trust me, it's gonna be a full different experience. 
But I'm curious about your opinion. Please let me know in the comment section down below. Trample, 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 trample. And yeah, we have EOD almost back up. He has now work. Do you see that? He has war Rares with upgrades. Pikemen in Porcupine formation. Uruks in the Shield formation. Mines. Ballistas. Rams. Full map control. You have zero chance of recovery. And even our level 10 Rohirrim, Rohirrim and Rohirrim Warriors are struggling so much. And that, we, gotta, we gotta focus down the pikemen with the towers. Let's close the gate as soon as it's possible. But it's not even possible to close the gate yet. We are falling apart. We can't even use something. Elves are on cooldown. Ents are on cooldown. EOD is on cooldown. Get out. Hey, the pikes, they are coming in clutch. Close the gate. But what can we do against the pikemen? There is Saruman. There is Palista hammering our gate. And we can legit not play the game. Dude, the pikes are crushing us. Holy moly. A new power is rising and victory is at hand. Okay. Uh, let's summon the... Come on now. Let's summon the ends. Come on, come on, come on. No, no, no. He's actually killing the archer range too, dude. No way. Don't do that to me. He destroyed the gate. And there comes the Isengard army, ladies and gentlemen. Let's group them all together. Let's call the ends. Ends. It's your time to protect your country. That's your homeland. That's Fangorn Forest. For death and glory. Let's kill the Ballista first. We gotta blow up Saruman as soon as possible. We gotta need the outlaw leadership money from Saruman. That's good. Now let's kill the second Ballista. But he's spamming way too many pikemen. Our heroes are still perfectly fine with EOD summon for the worst case scenario. But I'm afraid. Because he was summoning the Balrog at the same time with our EOD. And after the EOD, we might see yet another Balrog. And this might be quite devastating. Maybe the air... Oh, talking about the back, big boy, guys. There comes the Balrog, the ancient demon. Demon. And look, this he's just ignoring everything and walking straight to the gate, isn't he? And there are even mines next to our well. He's gonna blow them all up, am I right or not? He's gonna breath fire, kill even the EOD. Boom, he actually blow up. And that's the mine. The mine at the well destroyed me. Can we kill it? Please die, Balrog. Please die. Oh man, what is actually happening? This guy doesn't stop, he's flying. And look at this, Lamrim workers coming to kill the our ants. <laughs> they are actually are going to war, you know? The last stand of the Lamrim workers, laborers. Okay, we need to go for a counterattack, but dude, we have no chance. How can what can you do against such a regular seat? As Theorin would like to see. I mean absolutely nothing. And the Balrog in the meantime, by the way, just randomly crushing our full base. Okay. Um, yeah, any new challenges, please in the comment section down below. As you can see, asking me now, Shanks, can you play this against Seven Heart Armies is going to be literally impossible on the patch 2.22. Because that's what you have just seen. Which we might lose. It's a 1v1 situation only. So, any reasonable challenges, please. Doable challenges. Again, we got to tweak our rounds a little bit, though, with the, with the stats of the AI. Because this one feels really overwhelming i think it's gonna be nearly not doable let's be honest look at that look he's countering our build he's countering our rohirrim by spamming bunch of pikemen and we have no money to repair the gate and the wall at the same time and now we need to repair everything we gotta we couldn't even get fire or purchase yet we need to get archer range again farms well there is so much we gotta do and the pikes, in the meantime, they are kind of hunting our Rohirrim down. Do you see the mines in front of our citadel? We are losing literally all our Rohirrim, by the way. He's spamming mines. Do you see that? And the Balrog is going to be able to blow them up. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Kill the Ballista. Kill the Ballista. Kill the Ballista. We have no heal from the Spellbook. We have no well on the field. This guy is going to bump our well again. The seed spam is kind of crazy and super scary. We got to build the archery range. We got to build the stable. We got to build... Repair the... I mean, we have no money. That's the problem. Do we have Glorious Charge? It's also on cooldown. What can you do against that? What is that? Dude, guys, I'm not a new BFME player, by the way. Don't take me as like a beginner player. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I've been playing this game for many, many years, but it's even f f overwhelming for me. But it's jelly. I like it. I really enjoyed this one. Though. Even I'm going to lose this, by the way. <laughs> but it was still hella fun. Look at this army, dude. That's an army, Warfare of Mord. That's the army Sauron wanted from Saruman in the films. But he couldn't, he couldn't offer that. 
imagine this force marching to Helmsdeep. And again, I'm very curious about your opinions in the comment section down below. If you want to have any new challenges for like a 1v1 situation, we gotta, we gotta start somewhere. It's gonna be a 1v1. First of all, we need to kind of test the waters a little bit, get into uh, the understanding what is supposed to be done, if it's even winnable or not. And uh, preferably, we gotta we gotta win as you know first with the good factions like Gondor and Rohan because then we have walls protecting us and picking us up at the beginning. But uh, you know, one v one this difficult. Imagine a one v seven, dude. Imagine guys a one v seven on this difficulty. All I can say is good luck and fun because we are. Let's. Oh man. Okay. I mean, what can I say? It's not hard anymore. This is brutal, and the new AI is hitting like a truck. That's all I can say. And again, this one is for you guys because I know many of you guys, thousands of you, are actually enjoying uh, to play Battle for Middle Earth in skirmishes in single player. And I'm maybe, maybe, just maybe, you are also looking for something like more challenging. And you might like this one. It's gonna take you some tries. It's definitely not doable with the very first try. It might be frustrating, but I personally, it's my personal opinion, I enjoy it. When it's hard, you know? Okay, so let's run them down. Go and hunt them. Let's use club. We can't even use club break yet. Look, he has fire arrows. You see how many units he has sur he's surrounding our units. Level 9... <laughs> Uruks with forge plates and heavy armor. <laughs> EOD is on cooldown. What can men do against such a reckless heat? I'm trying, dude. I'm playing really seriously. It's not like I'm messing around a little bit or something. I've been doing nothing but playing seriously since the beginning of the game. And yet we have just lost the game. And you know what? You guys like to see me losing, don't you? And there comes the, you know, the defeated screen you guys all waiting for. And GG well played hard army, 80,000 in the bank. I will see you next time. Until then, keep hitting like a truck. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, stay beyond standards. Peace out.